there, it's Anonymous Tea, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today, sending good vibes, sending positivity, sending blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today we're talking love and marriage, Huntsville. You guys know why you're here. Today we are talking because another clip has emerged, you guys, ahead of the next episode with Destiny and Moses. And I just don't care, you guys. I, I really don't. I am so over it. Um, you know, nonetheless, uh, let's talk about the scene that that, that took place. Uh, I, I guess for me, my self-esteem and, and my confidence and my mental health and my overall well-being it is not going to allow me to come back on a reality show and argue with a dude who played in my face, who argued with a dude who married another woman. I don't know. That's just me. That's just me, uh, because I would have the wherewithal to know that this isn't it. They made their choice. They made their decision. Why am I going to get on camera and get on national TV and clown myself? And, and there was some interesting tidbits in this clip, you guys. Uh, the first one being that Moses was sending Destiny money up until August of last year, you guys. So not only was Mel spending thousands of dollars on, on Destiny, so was Moses right but the timeline is also interesting right now for all intents and purposes uh you know moses is is, is whatever but nonetheless i uh, destiny did not have a response uh when he told her that things were basically done in april and destiny flipped that and was like well you were still telling me you love me until august and still sending me money until august and our official breakup was me saying in august i sent you a text message saying you i choose me but moses told you back in april that he chose someone else and then the other piece was Moses said he checked out on Destiny when she didn't show up for his birthday party in St. Louis uh, that basically let him know what, what it was, right? And, and so he moved on. And then Destiny is talking about these text messages. That she has text messages uh, that can prove these things. The same text messages that she can't claim to prove that Mel was not in contact with her. And so Moses said, show them. And I was like, show them. Can we see the receipts? Because here's the problem, Destiny. The, the, your track record is not good with, with the timeline and truth of things. You did this to Mel before. You tried to make Mel seem like the bad guy, that she was a bad friend, that she wasn't checking in on you as much, and all of these things. And you basically got on camera and said that she had zero contact with you. And then Mel pulled up the phone pulled up the iPhone and showed receipts that she did reach out to you and that you were not responding and how can you call her a bad friend when she had to find out like everyone else that she was even getting a divorce you didn't even think to tell your so-called friend that you were getting a divorce from LeBaric so I don't know if I fully believe uh, the text message thing until I see receipts uh, because she did not have a rebuttal when Moses told her in April what it was, right? But, it, it, and let's say for all intents and purposes, this is true. That, that Moses really did end this in last April, right? And Destiny interpreted him still sending her money, him still texting or flirting with her or whatever, is that they were still, you know, good. That they were still together, but if you guys didn't see each other weren't hooking up anymore weren't entangled anymore why were you still interpreting that as a relationship of sorts if you checked out on his birthday and stopped seeing him on his birthday right and this is me not trying to even defend moses or defend this sunny and moses situation because like i said i could care less but we're talking about destiny as well right because one way or the other, no matter how you slice it or dice it, she got played, right? Now, if we want to do semantics of the timeline and what month it was, and uh, in reference to, okay, if he's still sending you money for the next four or five months after you guys supposedly split, uh, you know, what is that? what is that supposed to mean, right? 
does that mean that, that Mel's still your friend? That, that as long as she was still sending you money, that you, you considered her a friend? Or was it only because she exposed you and Letitia bashing her and heard you guys bashing her through the hotel walls that you wanted to now try to, you know, get booked and try to, you know, make Mel the bad person? But but the truth is just not in destiny. So I am just trying to figure out what, where can we get to the bottom of this? I need to see Moses' phone, and I need to see Destiny's phone. Uh, of when the supposed text messages took place, uh, you know, and I want to know how many people is is paying for Destiny as well. Like I said, because we already got receipts that Mel was paying thousands of dollars, and now that we have Moses that is paying, you know, some money, paying Destiny's bills, right? So it, so now it, it's starting to make sense again as to why she went back allegedly uh, to put her ex-husband LeBaric's information out there trying to get the bills paid because Moses stopped payment after August of 2023, right? But it's just, it's all very weird, you guys. This whole thing is weird, right? But again, for me, I just think this whole storyline is a waste of time. Nobody cares. This isn't interesting. This isn't pop.